Freight is essential for any city. Cities function by people and consumption of goods and services. So freight is basically anything that can't load itself. It is the food we eat, it is the buildings that get built around us, it's the clothes we wear, it's the coffee we drink, it's the waste that gets taken away. It is everything that surrounds us. And if we want to manage the traffic on our streets and reduce congestion, we have to think about how logistics and freight vehicles fit into that. In the Ecologistics project, I'm working with Smart Freight Centre, which works with multinational companies about how they deliver more sustainable, low-carbon deliveries. We're looking for um, cleaner air, we're looking for more environmentally friendly, we're looking for safety, particularly for pedestrians and cyclists, and just trying to get cities to understand freight, so they then take on board the management of the people better. Because if you manage where the delivery is taking place, you end up with a smoother bus journey, you end up with a cycle lane that doesn't have vehicles parked in it, and you actually look at how the system functions as a whole. To achieve change on sustainable urban freight, you can do everything from ask people nicely, you can do voluntary behaviour change, or you can regulate. You know, there's a whole range of things, but things cities can do include things like incentivising safe, clean, efficient urban freight through their own procurement process. Um, in Europe and in India, it's about 14-15% of GDP is public sector procurement. So there's a real way that cities can take ownership of some of that. Part of this is about talking to the range of stakeholders. The Ecologistics project is trying to address the challenge of sustainable urban freight by getting stakeholders to talk to each other. What cities tend to do is obsess about the freight vehicle. You know, if you think about all the food that's coming into a city, it doesn't matter whether you order it and it's delivered on, a, on an individual courier bike or whether it's delivered in a van or whether you go to a restaurant or whether you buy it in a supermarket, it's still food that's coming into the city. So how we do that sustainably means the city has to understand that. Um, cities that have been looking at sustainable mobility for years still don't always understand logistics. But you'll only make a sustainable city if you look at you know, people and goods movement together. Um, you know, people move because of goods, goods move because of people. You have to look at the two together. Ecologistics needs to be more than just a project name. And part of that, I think, is how we actually get um, sort of eco-mobility that includes logistics.